<laughs> this thing is awesome, dude. It runs on 72 volts, and they say we can hit speeds of around 50 miles an hour. 50. Today, I'm thrilled to review the Iahora Knight M1 PS. Oh shoot, there's a sheriff right here, dude. I'm literally passing by a sheriff. It's got a 70 amp controller, and they say we can do about 65 to 75 miles of range. But the big question is, is the Iahora Knight M1 PS any good? Or not. Truth is, I don't know, but today we're gonna find out. For starters, the weight of this scooter is 187 pounds, and the box it comes shipped in weighs 260 pounds. Definitely a bit heftier than your typical scooter or e bike. And the very first thing you see when you open the box is a certificate of origin with a VIN on the certificate. You get a model year, body type motorcycle, and if you flip it over, it looks exactly like the title of a car. Looking pretty legit. What else are we working with here? Box one, box two, and something here. Check that out soon. And my goodness, the size of this cable looks like it's ready to handle some serious juice. And dude, look at the seats. This thing is wide and squishy. Dude, I'm so pumped. Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing out of here. Ugh. There it is. What do you think of this thing? Oh, sh. <laughs> Whoa. Right? I'm getting like Harley Davidson vibes. The seat and then also the nail heads. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> and my goodness, look at the size of this motor. Website says it's a 4,000 watt QS motor with 100. And 78 newton meter of torque. There goes the numbers down there for whom it concerns. Of course, it's got fenders. And holy crap, dude! Look how look how thick this tire is. Looks like it's stamped as a 21540 on a 12 inch wheel. And I guess this kickstand has some features built into it. We'll uh, be checking out soon. See that wire going there? And you better believe this thing is full suspension. It has a hydraulic shock. Dual hydraulic shocks on here. One on that side, one here. We should be riding in some serious comfort on this thing. Let's dig in here a bit more. What are we working with here? Feels like a fender. What's in here? We'll see soon. I suspect this is the charge port. Oh yeah, dang, look at that thing. What do we got going on up here? Kinda looks like a some sort of wing. Got a little shape to it. Up here is a ignition switch and a pretty beefy looking dual crown fork up front. Let's take a look at the front wheel. My goodness, dude. <laughs> This is a straight up motorcycle tire, dude. And holy crap, dude. Look at the size of these freaking brake rotors. Say TNT tire. These are tubeless tires, so uh, you should not have to worry about getting a punctured inner tube. Front tire is a 130 slash 70 and a 12 inch wheel. There's not spokes on these wheels, so they seem uh, pretty sturdy. You're not gonna have any broken spokes. So it is a staggered set. It's a smaller diameter on the front than the back tire. I guess another unique thing about these brake rotors is uh, Typically, you know, a brake rotor is mounted in the center and kind of bolted on in the center. These bolt on the outside. Pretty unique, man. Let's see if I can actually get this thing out of the box finally. Oh, dude. This is a big oh, scooter. Oh. Whoa, that kickstand just went down on my toe a little bit. I really need to get that front tire on there. Question is, how this thing weighs? So much. Maybe the manual will show us how. Oh shoot, dude, it's got a remote control too. Let's see what's in this box. Dang, look at the size of that charger. It's got a handle on it and a fan to help keep things cool. So boom, 13 amp charger. 72 volt battery charge to max is 84 volts. Website has the battery listed at 72 volt, 40 amp hour with Samsung lithium ion cells. And it is a 2.88 kilowatt hour. Dang, big battery. Anyway, 40 amp hour divided by 13 amp charge rate. Website claims three to four hours of charge time. 40 divided by 13, if the battery is completely empty, would be your official charge time. What's in this box? Oh, look at these keys though. These things are clean, dude. And then we get two wireless remotes. Here's the other one. I wonder what these things are. And these appear to be Oh, foot pegs. I was gonna say turn signals. And they do fold. There's the other one. Phone mount here. What is this thing for? Maybe so we can charge our phone directly from this thing? Oh yeah, there's a little USB port down here. And then it appears to be our display. Pretty pumped to see what this is gonna look like once we get it on. Oh, mirrors. Hello. Oh my goodness. This is a straight up motorcycle setup here. And of course some hydraulic brake reservoirs up here. First peek at the headlight looks pretty cool. And on the other side here. 
So what do we got going on here? Twist throttle, it's a full twist throttle on the right. Hazard lights, there is also some light switch options and some mode options we'll check out here soon. Wait a second. Actually, here's some light controls here. Turn signals and a horn and parking light. Still not entirely sure what these things are. We will find out soon. And it does have an inverted front fork. Appears to have some uh, relatively big time travel. Don't know if it'll actually compress that far or not. We shall see. And there's the axle. And dude, look at these bolts. These are the baddest looking bolts I've ever seen. Really gotta get this thing off the ground and get this wheel on. Ugh. Yeah. That'll work. Nothing like building a motorcycle on the uh, living room carpet. Let's see if we can get that thing in there. What? This rotor, you gotta bring it all the way through and it actually is gonna grab the rotor from the inside out. Opposite of like a normal e-bike or something. Yeah, seems safe. Now maybe we can do this. Just maybe. Don't get your hopes up. We're getting there, dude. Please, please, please do not fall. Don't forget this thing. Come on now. There we go. Probably needless to say, but no quick release lever on the front axle. Dude, I just gotta hop on this thing, see how it feels. So I am six foot five, inseam, 34. What's it feel like? Oh my goodness, dude, I am so freaking pumped. Looks like the gauge cluster goes all the way up here in front. We'll see if we can actually read it very well or not when we ride. Then down here for the uh, foot pegs, looks like they go right there. And these are, I believe, extensions if you wanna stretch out a bit more. Flip it around here, look at that from the other side. Look at those rotors. And it appears they are two piston hydraulic brakes. And up front here, we get the same exact dual piston hydraulic brake. Suspension is plush, dude. Hydraulic coil, dual coil rear suspension. The front suspension is not adjustable. Dude, I figured it out, check it out. Oh yeah, what do we got? Well, that would explain why it's not turning on. Dang, look at this battery. Breaker is 100 amps. So we gotta take a look at this battery out of there. <laughs> Pretty sweet looking battery. What do we got going on here? Here is all the specs listed. 72 volt, 40 amp hour, Samsung cells inside. That's a good sign. Wonder what the discharge rate is. Uh, charging current less than 10 amps. They give us a 13 amp charger. And it fits in here very snugly. There we go. Now flip the breaker on. Oh yeah, we should be in business now. So now we should be able to turn this thing on. Oh yeah, there we go, nice. So this thing's got signals up here. You can see the signals are on there. Has the low beams on, you can flip the high beams on. That is a bright, bright, bright light. And oh, some uh, caution lights. Hopefully you don't need those. What's this? Oh, you can turn the light on and off here. Yeah, you can turn the lights on and off. And then there's a mode here. Over here there's a park and a horn. So I'm gonna tap the mode button here. Okay, so that put us, it just cycles through. It's got one, two, and three. I'm guessing that's the battery down there. And ready, odometer is one, MPH. I mean, it's really, really all you need, dude. So here's what the little halo light looks like. So we can turn the lights on and off. So completely off, halo light, this light, and then high beam, low beam, signals. Turn these lights off. Oh, it's loud, but it's not like crazy loud. Then around back, we get turn signals back here as well as a brake light. When you pull the brake lever, it lights up up here. Of course, the other turn signal and you can put on the hazard lights. Let's see what happens if we turn the throttle. Oh yeah, dude. Time for a new skid mark, anybody? Boom. So red light comes on, fan kicks on and makes a little bit of noise. And let's try the keys now. Oh yeah. Oh shoot. All right, this thing's got some sort of alarms built into it. I don't know what this one is. Let's see what it does up here when I'm pressing these. Hmm, all right. I'm freaking pumped, dude. Let's go. All right, dudes, let's take the Eohora Knight M1 PS out for a ride. Let's do it. Hopping on down here into the saddle, quite literally. Let's try out this uh, phone holder. This thing is wired in. It has a little USB charger there if we need it. As you can see here, probably won't be the ideal angle for reading that stuff up there. These mirrors are looking sweet. Of course, we're gonna fire up the Strava to track our official distance on today's ride. Let's roll Pull out, dude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I actually don't know how I'm gonna make it out, out my door here. It's uh, kind of a tight curve. You can just barely make the turn here, but we got it. It's got a long turn radius. See if this thing can even fit in the elevator. The very first test we're gonna 
going to do on this thing is the 20% grade. Of course, we will not be pedaling because there are no pedals. We do have it on gear number three. I'm just going to kind of roll on the throttle here. I feel like, oh yeah, dude, this thing's got torque for days. I'm just, I'm just touching the throttle, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. This thing is going to be ridiculous. All right, I am going to have to resist the urge to start out on three. Just put it on down to one here. Let's feel it out, see what it's like on... Uh, gear number one. <laughs> this thing is awesome, dude. You guys probably can't see that display up there. It is showing 16 miles an hour, just kind of barely uh, touching on the throttle here. Brakes feel very, very nice hydraulic brakes. Doesn't feel like there's any sort of regen brake on there, which is totally fine with me. Who cares, dude? Let's whip out these uh, polarized lenses here. Uh, oh yeah, I can see the screen up there. I don't know if you guys can see because you're on the GoPro mounted on my chest, but up here where my head is, I can see that display just fine. I thought it might be a little bit of an issue. Totally cool, man. I am noticing <laughs> the, the pegs are like low to the ground, kind of like my heel can touch the ground like on on a turn yeah he says that a motorcycle uh, but go ahead and do uh gear one ready go full throttle so just kind of launching on gear one here takes us up to a nice easy chill 21 miles per hour to change on to gear two you would go ahead and just tap this button right here and we're on gear two now give it a little bit of throttle here oh yeah i can feel that's accelerating us a little bit more intensely bringing us up to 27 20 30 31 and gaining 32 oh yeah and you can feel man this thing this thing's got some weight to it but the brakes are definitely sufficient it seems uh to bring this thing to a halt they, they're very confident inspiring brakes now going into this turn here yeah dude this thing rides low to the ground man and all the weight is like way down low so it just feels like real stable battery is really low which is like a big part of the weight my goodness dude this thing is a vibe watch out squirrel bro i don't want to be running anything over mirrors i can see behind me really well with these mirrors actually so it has you know uh it seems to be like a pretty nice street suspension setup like the the mirrors aren't vibrating i can tell there's a tesla behind me and let's hit these bumps yeah man suspension's good Good enough. And of course, since it is a hub drive motor, not a mid drive motor with a chain, it's very, very quiet. This is uh, essentially silent. Unlike, you know, maybe like, oh, a Saran. Did you hear the peg drag there? So yeah, like I was saying, man, it'll, uh, you'll get a little peg drag here. It's it's pretty low riding for sure. So I'll put this thing on three now and uh, hop on out here a bit. Give it a little bit of throttle right in front of this car. Uh, this is full throttle and Oh, watch out for this car. We're gonna touch the brakes here. Um, yeah, man, this thing's, this thing feels like it's got a little juice. I'm just kind of touching on the throttle a little bit. We'll test the max speed in a minute. I'm not sure I'm quite ready to push it to the max, but this is full throttle right now. Showing 43 into a headwind, 44 into headwind. Woo this thing is fun, dude. Now it does have a little bit of weight to it. It is a 72 volt, I believe 70 amp controller. Oh man, yeah, it's got a little bit of zip. Oh shoot, dude. There's the uh, sheriffs right up there. Looks like we're in the clear for now. Uh, we'll see how today pans out. So this is full throttle. Um, it accelerates uh, pretty decently quick. It's not like extremely thrilling, but man, this thing picks up speed. Those brakes sound good, man. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of lane splitty split. This is legal to do here in uh, California. So handlebars are a little bit wide. Oh shoot, there's a sheriff right here, dude. I'm literally passing by the sheriff. <laughs> oh dude, I'm gonna try and hide the fact that I don't have plates on this thing right now. There is no hiding the fact. I can see him in my mirror right there. Put on my turn signal though. We do got turn signals. I'm not entirely sure this is the best place to do a zero to 20 acceleration run on something of uh, this mass, but we'll give it just a little bit of a pull here. So. Uh, I weigh 200 pounds. This thing weighs almost 200 pounds. Full throttle ready, go. Oh yeah, dude, this thing launches pretty good from a dig. And that's 20 right there, dude. I saw it hit 20 up there. GPS will lag just a little bit. So this thing's definitely got some uh, get up and go. Now it does have a long wheelbase and it's got some weight to it. So, um, you know, it's, it's not gonna like pop a wheelie on you. Probably mostly due to like the weight distribution. Saran passing us by. I don't know if you guys could hear the chain. That is a mid-drive bike. Um, maybe something that you might be, you know, thinking about getting if you're looking at getting something like this. Is it just gonna drag the bottom? No. Nah. So with the long wheelbase and how low it sits, I was thinking maybe the the bottom might drag a little bit going over that. Man, compared to like a Saran, I gotta say, you know, 
the seat width on this thing is just way more comfortable, man. You get you get some serious comfort on this. Let's say you catch yourself a little tailwind here. Let's do a top speed run with this thing around. Let's start from a stop. Why not? Ready, go. Full throttle. 20. 30. 35. 40. Please stop car. 45. 47, 48, 49, 50, keep it going baby, 50, we're cruising dude, <laughs> so it's on 49 on the GPS, 50 up on the onboard. Uh, basically speedometer is uh, pretty much dead on accurate. Um, I weigh 200 pounds, you know, a little bit of wind resistance up here. You could probably hit 55 in more ideal situations, but hey dude, I'd say 50 feels pretty good to me. So we'll get out here and cruise on the beach just a little bit. Probably will not be taking this thing in the sand today. <laughs> and I'd love to run it up that sand hill right there, see if we can do it, but I just feel so bad tearing up the drivetrain and I know these tires these street tires just are not gonna stick on the sand at all. Oh gosh, there goes the whales up there. Fortunately, it looks like there are no uh, cops inside those cars. <laughs> Dude, everybody just like looking at this thing, asking me what it is. Motorcycle and a yeah. scooter kind of. All electric too, huh? Yep, all what, electric. What's the speed on it? I got it up to 50. Oh, shit, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's see how it feels riding out here on the boardwalk. <laughs> My shoe just hit the hit the ground again. Oh, yeah, dude. That front, that suspension is like eating all the bumps up, man. That is that is some good flush suspension. Let's just check the connection point. What does it look like? Uh, I think that's a different connection port, which would make sense. Yeah, they're not the same. No, nope. which would make sense. I mean, those things just run on different voltage, I think. That would be awesome, though. Oh, shoot, another sheriff. He's actually uh, pulling out here a little bit. <laughs> Dude, this thing is genuinely awesome, man. Like, I, I just love the comfort of the seat. And, you know, it's not like an extremely thrilling uh, launch kind of acceleration. But, like, man, it's, it's got enough get up and go to whip around the city a little bit. I should probably slow down the sheriff. Like, what? turn it off i love that it's just like quiet and uh you know it looks like a motorcycle but at the same time it's like is it a motorcycle is it a scooter it's definitely not a bicycle it sits like so low to the ground you know i'm like lower than these like bicycles let's give it a little brake test from about 20 miles an hour back brake is on the left don't forget and uh, we'll give a little bit of a pull here oh yeah dude these hydraulic brakes work excellent Literally, I just got it uh, today. Oh, today, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it all electric? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's I, the range on it? I don't know, man. It's, uh, they say 65 to 70 miles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have really tested it from the Harley Yeah, I know. Yeah, dude, the brakes on this thing are so good, man. So, full throttle and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I can get the front off the ground just a little bit. Definitely shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> so we're gonna go ride it up to the top of that cliff. In case you're new here, it's an 85 foot climb, 12% grade. They call it the California incline and we'll see what kind of speed we can hit. We're gonna change it up today though. We're not gonna go up the loop-de-loop -loop, uh, path for pedestrians. <laughs> we're gonna skip that section and we're gonna pop out here onto the Pacific Coast Highway momentarily. Let's see if we can actually squeeze through these cars here. Oh, I shouldn't have put these mirrors on. I got this, I got this, got this. And uh, we'll pop on to the uh, California incline. Full throttle, ready to go. We are on gear number three, hitting 20, 26, 30, 32, 35. So to give you an idea of the power, you know, it, it can climb some hills. We're doing 38, 39, full throttle, and pretty much topping out at 40. And <laughs> yeah, man, I had to pull those brakes there a little bit. I was coming up on that turn a little faster than expected. So we're gonna do a little bit of city riding out here. <laughs> he approves of the bike. Uh, do a little bit of lane split and try this thing and some traffic on the way home and see what kind of final range we end up with. Because right now, after 11 miles, it's saying we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars. So one thing I'm noticing about this bike scooter thing is it feels stable at speed, very stable. The wide motorcycle tires and you know, it just got some weight and a really long wheelbase. I'm afraid it's gonna go in the park here. We got it on gear number three. Keep flipping the throttle here. 
just a little bit. It's about to change and go. We go. Dude, everybody is looking at this thing. There we go. Let's go. Police number, what is that? Probably four or five. I feel like this thing makes a lot of sense as like a city commuter, like little traffic hack kind of thing. I mean, it's got a little bit of width to it, uh, but I can, I can get around these cars. You know, I was just thinking about the brakes. Uh, probably one of the reasons why they stick so well is because those big meaty tires, a lot of times your tires is a limiting factor to how much braking force you can put down to the ground. These big meaty tires, they can, uh, they can really put a little power down, whether it's forward power or stopping power too. So I shot about six bars, I think, on the battery right now. You can tell it's starting to lose its pep just a little bit. You know, that's what happens with any battery as it starts to wear down just a little bit. Dude, I could definitely see myself getting out on some good uh, weekend rides on this thing, you know, just cruising in silence. You take this to like a national park or something, go cruising around the open air experience with absolutely no sound at all. One thing I really don't love about it, and maybe you can get into the settings and change, it seems like after about five seconds of sitting with no power, it will go into park automatically. And uh, I mean, if you're sitting at a light, you want that throttle to work when you go to uh, press on it. So you just have to kind of be aware to like, I don't know, either tap on the, the gas, the gas every now and then, or yeah, got a gas bike rolling up here. The... Oh shoot, let's see what it looks like next to a real motorcycle. What do we got here? Harley Davidson. I mean, there you have it, dude. Well, side by side. <laughs> this thing is like definitely smaller, but like, well, you make up your own mind, dude. So the price is right around $5,000. If you do want to grab one of these, if you buy through the link below in the description box, I do have a little coupon code down there for you. Help you save you a little bit of money. Of course, that would help support my reviews here on Juice Joy Rides, and I greatly appreciate your support. So compared to my Saran, I actually think this makes more sense for street riding. Like, just like the riding position of it is more comfortable and like the tires are like meant for the street and like it's quiet. Um, you know, for street street riding, like city riding, I, I honestly could feel, I could see myself like using this. It has a bigger battery on this too. My upgraded Saron battery is 72 volt, 38 amp hour. This one is 72 volt, 40 amp hour. So pulling up the range here, showing 16.27 uh, miles, hour and 10 minutes of ride time today. And the battery bar up here is reading one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 10 battery bars. So uh, roughly, 70% remaining on the battery. I think they say you could do 65 to 75 miles of range on this thing. Now, speed kills range. So if you're kind of like whipping around like I was today, you're probably not gonna get 65 or 75 miles. The way I ride, I would probably estimate this thing to get about 50 miles, roughly. Now if I, you know, I could dial it down to, you know, two or one and, well, maybe get 65 miles. So final thoughts on this thing, dude. This thing is um, a lot of fun, man. I just, I really love the silence and the comfort. And I mean, it's got good power. Like I said, you know, it's not like 72 volt Saran thrilling because it's it's got a little bit of weight to it, man. It weighs almost 200 pounds, but that extra weight and the wide tires uh, results in, you know, some stability and, you know, just a very, motorcycle feel man so if you do want to grab one of these buy through the link down below in the description box so i do have a discount code down there to help save you a little bit of money on it and it also helps for my reviews here on juice joy rides however i know this is not the kind of electric bike scooter that everybody's gonna want so if this is not what you're looking for watch this video next catch you over there